Hello everybody, welcome to a Thieves Guide. In this one we're going to explore the uh, Thieves Guild features and um, the Thieves features of Skyrim. I am not going to cover any part of the main plot, so you're not going to get any spoilers from the Thieves Guild plotline, but you will see the Thieves Guild. In fact, we're going to go there now. I'm going to show you how to get there. Right? This is the road, there's the marketplace, we come down here, through this door, and we follow this route. Now we'll come across a bridge in a minute. You've got to fight some people as well, by the way, to get there. This bridge is up, and you have to jump down there and go around the long way. So only when you press that lever and it drops that you can go straight to it. Now we go down here and we come to the ragged flagging. Now, when you're playing them as a thief, you'll do various sad quests for the uh, thieves guild and they'll tell you that these sad quests help rebuild the guild. Right? And these sad quests, you know, are important. Now, just so you know, that whilst these side quests can get a bit repetitive and dull sometimes, they do have an effect. What they say does change and influence the guild. Now, I'm not turning around just yet, because I, want, I don't, want, don't want you to see something, but... <coughs> once you've done those side quests, this happens. I'll still smash your skull if you try anything. See these shops? These start opening around the edge of the Thieves Guild. There's another one to go here for me and probably one over there, I think, is it? There. So I've probably got about two more to go, right? So doing them sad quests just have an effect on the game and they are worth doing, even though they are a bit repetitive. The I think you've got to do quite a few to get the first one. So you might feel like nothing's happening, but it will eventually. Now you've got various so people here, like this lady here. How about you run a job for me? She gives you work, as you can see in training. Here's your fence. Job, so we can both make Welcome to money. the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. She's not selling now, anything at the moment, but me. she does. And this guy offers jobs as well, you when you remember. Now let's just go and take a look at the guild, shall we? Now, this is the Thieves Guild, and these are all the beds of the Thieves Guild members. Yours, I believe, is this one. Right, and these are yours here. You can put stuff in them. On the side, on one of these, well, on this side, I believe, there's a book. I'll show you the book, right, because it's important. Right, if we could just find it. Um, Shadow Marks. In the book, it tells you all the secret Thieves Guild symbols to look out for that tell you, you know, what's what. You see? You see them all here. Safe, danger, right, escape route, protected, fence, etc. The fence one I'll show you later on. But pick up that book when you arrive and learn the symbols, because they're important. Now, uh, when you're doing the quests and stuff, you know, or the, the main quest, you start, you, you know, recovering Sorry. things, either directly or indirectly, as a result of various projects, and they'll ask you to bring them back to one of the fences in the Thieves Guild. And when you give them back to them, they'll appear here. Uh, here, for instance, is a bust of the Great Fox. There's an eye of uh, the Falmer, and various things I've picked up, you know, on jobs which needed to be sold back as part of the project. That builds up, you see. So that, that desk gets busier and busier and more and more full. Now, you get lots of training here. Something. Like this guy here will train you with archery, you pickpockets, stealth, whatever you need, it's all here. If you wanted to be um, a thief, this is the place to be. Want to talk? Go it's uh, What's it's on got your everything mind? you need, really. There's also a black back door, which I'll show you. Go to the stairs here.
pull that chain. You're allowed out. Now, this here, that button right there, allowed you to open it from the outside. So you don't have to go all the way through the long way once you know it's there. You can take the shortcut. Now, um, this is where the back entrance is. If you actually look here, you can go around that way, out to Riften, or you can go up here. Which I think takes you past um, the Temple of Myra, I think. Yeah, Temple of Myra. Out back into Riften. Now, uh, that's the quick guide to the Thieves Guild. Now, this is a character, probably the, one of the better um, races to be if you want to be a thief. This is a Khajiit, as you can see, um, the armour he's wearing is a reward for finishing the um, Thieves Guild quest. Now, we're just going to examine this Khajiit and uh, look at some features needed or skills needed for uh, thieves. Now, for thieves, they actually need quite a lot. Uh, you'd be surprised. I mean, restoration is always needed. Right? But if we just go along here, one-handed weapons a must, archery is a must, light armor is a must, that's free right away. Then we have sneak, lock picking, and pickpocketing, and speech if you want to get good prices. So you've got a minimum of six skills here to spread your um, things across. Now, if we look at one-handed weapons, right, again you go straight to the um, armsmith there, the first one that does ma increases the damage. You want that one. You want to knock that up to five points. I've got three on that at the moment. Dual flurry. You need that one as well. Attacking with two weapons is very, very handy for a lightly armed character. Now, uh, if we go to archery, again, overdraw. You want, you know, more points on that to increase the damage you cause, right? Up to five, right? That, that's your attack bonuses. Now, light armor. Um, I'm increasing this because it makes the armor more effective in combat and increases my survivability as a thief. Right? So, but it still doesn't mean you want to be toe to toe with enemies too much. You want to be sneaking up to them and doing whatever you need to do stealthily, not charging in like you're wearing heavy armor. Now, here you've got stealth. You want more points on stealth here, and you definitely want muffled movement. Right? When if you do the Dark Brotherhood, you'll want backstab and all the others. So muffled movement and stealth are the two things you really need as a thief. Lock picking. These ones you need to go all the way up really. You've got novice locks, apprentice locks, adapt locks, stuff like that. You need to take it all the way there. You know, you can choose these as a side bonus if you want, you know. So you know it's up to you if you've got any spare um, perks. Pickpocketing, right? Here again, you've got um, light fingers and up to five points. It says here yeah, bonus of 20%. You know, item way to reduce pickpocketing adds to the or pickpocketing odds. Right, blah blah blah. Here you've got night thief, plus 25% chance of pickpocketing if a target is asleep. Then you've got here uh, carrying capacity increased by 100. Uh, um, pickpocketing is uh, pickpocketing gold is 50% easier. So you see, you, you, these are the bill packs that we say pickpocket weapons, gold, whatever. So if you if you select more of them, you'll be able to pick more things off the character I'm noticing. That's pretty important. As a thief, you want to get good prices with your stuff, so haggling, that's important as well. But generally speaking, it's the first star and all of these that is the most important to get the points on initially. Right? You can um, add points after that as you go up the level, but try adding the points to key areas. I actually recommend if you're going to be an archer, stick it on archery um, and then s s sneak, pickpocket and lockpicking. Or if you're not doing lockpicking or pickpocketing, don't add the points to that. Focus on the areas your thief is going to be skilled at. Right? I've got mine generally across the board so I can do all the quests. Because you, you do get various quests including pickpocketing quests and lockpicking quests. So I've, I've added it across the board so I can do them all. Now that's it for that. Now we're in solitude at the moment, in one of the inns there, as you can see. And I want to show you something here. There's a guy there sat in that chair. You've got no idea who he is or what he does. But you look around as a thief, you'll see a symbol on the wall here. Now that symbol is in that shadowed book. Right? We just see it. Um, books. Shadow marks. We look this one up. 
It's not that one, it's not that one. It's not that one, it's not that one. It's not that one. That's the one. Fence. This should quickly become your favourite shadow mark. The person near this mark will buy your hard earned stolen goods for a fair price. Well, I don't know about a fair price, but that is him. Alright? If you look around, you will see these marks everywhere. They're not easy to spot, and you've got to be uh, aware that they, what the marks mean to even know it. Alright? But if you carry that shadow marks book around, you'll be able to look them up and learn them. Now you will occasionally miss mistake some other marks for Thieves Guild marks, like I'll just show you. Alright, if I can see it here, you see there, that is not a Shadows Guild mark. Oh, Shadows Guild, Thieves Guild mark. That there is just a mark on the wall. But, you, know you, you see that on the floor there? That is a Thieves Guild mark. So let's just look that one up as well, shall we? Not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. It's always the last one, isn't it? I think that's it. Was it? Uh, no, that's the one. Loot. There's something near this shadow mark worth stealing. Saves you from breaking into on to, to well breaking into a place only to find that people don't have two septums to rub together. So, this place is worth nicking from. And the best thing yet is there's a place to go in there that'll buy it. <laughs> so anyhow, that is the secret between that's a secret for uh, the shadow mark things. Now, you see the eye I'm looking at here, you notice how it's, you can see a full eye. This guy's looking straight at me and that eye symbol on my target shows an eye. A change now, if I go behind him like and he looks the other ocean, way. The thieves guild has come. The eye turns to a straight line and says hidden. The more exposed I am, the bigger the eye is. The more hidden I am, the more it turns into a straight line. That's how you tell when you're being detected how much noise you're making. You see? If you run down the street, you expect to see the um, eye all the time. But if you sneak and hide, it goes to a hidden. And when people see you, it blinks, you see? See? Can't, can't see me? Can see me. Can't see me? Can see me. You see? That's how it works. You may not always get the hidden and detected message popping up in the game, but that, um, that rectangle thing that shows you the sneaking mode, that will always show. And that, by the way, is run by sneaking. You sneak, go into sneak mode, that eyes enabled. Just in case I forgot to say that. Right, you now we've covered all that and all that lot. Now it's time to do some Thieves Guild quests. Now we're back in the flagon here and we're going to take a couple of quests. These are repeatable quests so they aren't really spoilers for the main plot. Ready for some work or you... So, the got more than you can handle. Right, do we want a burglary job, a shrill job, a sweep job or a heist job? They all do different things and when you first select them she will tell you what they do. Right? So I'll let you figure that out when you see it. We're going to, um, sorry, where do, if we do a sweep job, that means we're taking, uh, taking something from a home, several, several, um, expensive items usually, so we'll do that. I think we have a nice wealthy home for you to break into. Think you can clear the place of valuables and keep it quiet? All right, I'm on it. Here, just don't make me look like an ass in front of the guild and mess it up. Uh, now where's the other guy? So you're bringing your still have quite a good bit of jobs available if you're looking for some extra coin. These, by the way, are the dodgy London accents. It's kind of the sort of thing you hear in England. So these are Hollywood English. They're uh, London Cockney type. Uh, you know, one buy some puppies accents. Quite good for thieves actually. Right. Um. Here we go. I'm all ready. For, I'm, I'm ready for some extra Bloody work. Good timing. Just got some more clients. Right, do we want numbers jobs, fishing jobs? That's basically pickpocketing or bedlam where you just rob as much as possible. The bedlam jobs I reckon will eventually empty out all the houses. The fishing things requires a good lockpick skill. I mean they're a good pickpocket skill, so I'm gonna do a numbers job. Alright, got a simple one. Just get in, 
change the books and be back in time for last call. So, that's about it. Finally, someone with backbone. Here you go. Now we're gonna do these Welcome jobs. The so I'm gonna look. see you at the destination. Before we go anywhere, this is the door to the flagon we've just been in. See the Thieves Guild symbol here uh, on the wall? That tells you what it is. And according to the Shadow Book, that means the Guild. Okay? It's a safe place. After all. Right, well, I'll see you at the destinations for these jobs. Now, our first job is um, in Markaf, and it's to uh, uh, change the books of a shopkeeper so she doesn't know she's being ripped off by the um, guild. So that's what we're going to do first. Now, some of these are subtle and require you to sneak around. Some of them you can wait till opening time. Shopkeepers always tend to be in, so if you had to pick a shop's lock, they're going to catch it. Probably won't do anything, but they can catch it. But you might as well just wait till the shop opens. Now, we enter the shop, we find the book. Now they have nice little arrows pointing everywhere, as you can see. Cure is here for That's not going to be very easy because she's right next to it. So we have to find a way to uh, get at that without she seeing. See, we're hidden now. Look, come to that. Now we're not. All right. So wait for her to turn away. Up to no good. What I like about this is, you know, when you're sneaking, if they can see you, they go. They do realize I can see you, right? to yourself. The moment you're, hitting, you're, you're, moment you're clicking to sneak mode, they all get suspicious. We've got done it. You see? Not subtle, but it works. You see, I managed to uh, wait till they weren't looking at me, and then I made a quick change to the books as required. Job done. That's as simple as it gets for the repeatable quests. They're very much like the Fighters Guild quests that I made for um, Oblivion. Except for instead of using notes, they're officially supported using the quest system. And they all add up, just like my mods used to, and um, create bonuses back at the guild. Right, where's our next job then, right? Um, sweep job in solitude, so let's just go there. Press M, while that is, while well, we've got a pointer over that. So it looks like it's in the palace. Hmm, could be interesting. Some of these jobs, by the way, are a little bit more involving. And occasionally, you know, just before you unlock something new in the guild, you'd be given a special job by uh, Devlin, I think it is. Which is usually a little bit more complicated than this. Right, here we go. Now, where is it? Oh, it's not in there. It's one of these houses. No, it's, uh... Sam, is it? I think they don't really uh, go to clock, go to uh, bed at the, all the same time yet. So we'll have to wait till two o'clock, and then I hope they're not in. Well, they're asleep. Right, let's go and give it a try. Sometimes if you come back during the day, they're at work. Also, just because they see you once, if you hide quickly, you may get away with it. Now, let's just sneak up these stairs. Oops, there she is. How are we going to get past that? even have to. I 
And so I think I've done this job before. That is usually the thing we've got to steal, something like that. Whoops. Everything but what I wanted. Hmm. Oops. Got it. Three of three. Now see if we can get out without being spotted. He's up and about. And we're done. Ooh, that was close. You've got to get your sneak skill up, you know, to actually get away with that. But it doesn't have to be too high before it starts working. You'll find actually as a thief, you know, that you can sometimes walk right past people and they don't even notice you're there. Right, we're going to head back now and we're going to just turn in the jobs and see what happens. Ooh, that was a close one, wasn't it? Oh, got a job well, from him. Shall be trapping so. ya? I'll cook the daddy bear myself. Here's your coin. There we go. See that special request is put up. Should we do it? Wanna see it? Okay, we'll do that, right? Where are you off to? There's work to be done. Well, you done? I suppose you want your share now. Here you go. There we go, that's the end of them jobs. Don't give up now. There's plenty of loot out there just ripe for the taking. 